I'm Jennifer with Blacksmith 3D. Today I'm going to show you just the simple settings for getting set up with the Texture Transformer version 2. Once you've installed all the files, your Texture Transformer executable should also be in the same folder as where you have the folder underneath for Texture Transformer data. Under the data, you should have all of the packs that you have either come with the base or have been bought as an add-on pack. Today's example, we're going to do a V4 to Dawn transformation, so I wanted to make sure my pack here is in my data file. And it is, so we're ready to go. I'm going to launch my Texture Transformer executable. And in the settings, it's very important what you have here. I'm going to delete them for just a second so that I can set them back up and kind of explain here that under my computer information, I have my DAS content. And you want to have your top level stuff here. Um, if you're using DAS, wherever's your top level for having the folders like people and props and the runtime and the scenes. The runtime for DAS Studio is still used. It is used in DAS Studio mostly for the textures, and this is where you'll find a bunch of them here. But it can also be used as some of the legacy type poser files also, if you have it in there for um, DAS Studio to find. So here again, just make sure that when you select your folder, it's at the very top level where your file for DAS Studio content like people and props is going to be. The next one I want to add is my poser folder because that's where I keep all my poser content and a lot of my original figures for Victoria and Michael and Dawn, they're all going to be in here. So even though I have other things like my poser content or a general um, some of the DAS Studio files repeated in here. Um, those are just needing to be cleaned up, but they can still function. But I want to make sure that this file folder that I select is the one that has my runtime underneath it, but not the runtime folder itself. So I go to that main top level and select that folder and then this is my content folders that I'm going to be using the most. And it's very important to try and make sure those are your top level. When you're done with your settings, you close that and you can move on to the next area. So the next thing on the screen is I'm going to select my V4 to Dawn and click my next. And then I'm going to add my V4 folders. From here, it depends on where your folders reside, but when you're going from V4, you want to make sure that wherever your original V4 CR2 file was, um, in this example, my DAS people, my Victoria CR2 file is here under my Posa Pro content, so that's why those settings are so important, because it does need to find this file in order to reference it. So, under my runtime, I'm going to look for what I'm going to convert to Dawn today and go under my libraries. I'll do poses. And today I'm going to do our publishing's Ashley Blue character. I need to take CR2 out of there and try again. She was probably set up as a PZ too. And we want to make sure we don't accidentally grab any of her morphs, but we want her entire full skin. And here it's hard to tell whether her full skin is just going to be skin or body. I'm going to go with skin because I'm assuming that's going to have the body and the head included in it as... No. I'm going to do the body. That should be everything. And I'm going to open that file. And then if I want to add her lips, let's say, let's do lips two and three. And then let's also add eyes 
brown and green. But this top file is my master file. And this master file is important because the lips and eyes textures by default are not going to have all of the content in them. So they need to reference the original content of the skin, the main full body. Sometimes you'll hear it be called full default. Um, sometimes they'll have the exclamation mark with the character name or something like that to show that that is the main default skin texture for everything. And you will need that as a master, but let's say I'm doing them in batches and I've already done my master, converted it before, but now I'm just wanting to do a whole bunch of lips and put them in their own lip folder. We could do those in batches separately and have this master file here, but tell it to skip doing that file by itself in this folder, but still use it for these other references here. And then um, because I'm going to Dawn and my Dawn resides, I do believe I have one in my Dawn's content folder. Um, but before I select that, I want to make sure that I really do because if I don't, that could cause problems finding it. And I do have Dawn really in my Dawn's content folder, so it is okay. But if I was converting to a character that was only set up maybe in my poser content folder, I'd want to be careful here where I'm making that output file go so that it's easier to find it. So here under my DAS content, that's where it's going to go. The next location is going to depend on where I'm coming from, what, where I'm going to, what I want those folders to look like. When I'm going to DAS Studio, by default, the preset files is going to go to people. So what do I want to see after people? So here I'm probably going to want to see Dawn because that's how it was listed. And for this example, I am converting Ashley Blue. And here I can say this is, and these are my folder names. So here I could say Ashley Blue Dawn. And that's going to give me a little more unique information here. I can use these same folders here or file name paths, um, which by default the textures are going to go into the folder of runtime and textures by default. So I don't need to add that. And then I'm ready to transform and I'll be back after these transformations are finished. Okay, now that Texture Transformer has finished converting those files from V4 to Dawn, I will now go over and open up my DAS Studio. From here, I will open up Dawn. Once she's loaded, then I will go here to the file that I created under Dawn called Ashley Blue, and I will apply the body. Now here, it looks like I did pick the wrong file because the body did not include the head texture, so that is a problem with which one I had chose. A good way to handle this before conversions is to actually go into your original V4 where this Ashley Blue resided and make sure which ones did what because that means I, I just grabbed the wrong file for the master. That means that these other ones are probably not going to work properly either, but at least you can see from what not to do kind of as part of the instructions on how to make things work. So here, I'm going to zoom into the face, and what we will likely see here means that we might see the eye color change, but we're probably not going to see, yeah, the eye color changed, but we are not going to see any of the original face textures because I grabbed the wrong master. 
but I'll redo that and show you in another tutorial how that is supposed to work properly. Um, but I think this is a good tutorial to show you what can happen when the wrong master files are grabbed accidentally.